Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my favorite beauty products from 2017. And the way that I like to do these best of beauty videos is just to share with you products that I loved over the past year that really stood out to me. So this isn't like every single thing I use um, or every single thing I've loved, but these are the ones that just really like stood out to me and the way I kind of did it this year is I did go by category but you'll see that I don't have something for every category because really what I did is I thought about what stood out to me this year pulled all of that and then I went and did my category so you'll see that some categories I'm missing stuff because I just didn't feel like I wanted to mention anything in that particular category like nothing new stood out to me so some of these products came out in 2017, some did not. Um, I didn't want to, that to be a limiting factor for me. So let's go ahead and get into this video. And I'll just warn you ahead of time, my voice sounds funny. I'm just getting my voice back. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. And let's go ahead and get to the products. So for skincare, I have two items that I want to mention. The first one is an eye cream, and this is the Clarins Mission Perfection U eye cream. And I did mention this in a favorites video before, but it's just a brightening eye cream for daytime use, and it has SPF. And you can see it has like a um, color to it, like a peachy color, but it's lighter than my skin tone. But I thought that would be a problem but help, when you rub it in it just helps to provide like radiance and make your eyes look lifted and when I don't use it I feel like I can tell the difference for instance I did not use it today because I had pulled it out for my video so when I was doing my morning skincare routine I didn't have it so I feel like I can tell the difference in the way my under eyes look today because I didn't use this product so that makes this a definite winner for me the other product I'm pretty sure I mentioned last year or I don't know I know I've mentioned it before but this is Sunday Raleigh Good Jeans and the reason I'm mentioning it again this year is um, for a while I stopped using this because I was trying to use up some other products but when I went back to this I could really tell the difference in how soft my skin was like I feel like this gives me baby skin <laughs> like after when I use this the next morning my skin just feels like so good and now on a regular basis because I pretty much use this every day now my skin feels like that all the time and I don't have perfect skin by any means but I do feel like when I use this product on a regular basis that I see the difference in the brightness of my skin the texture of my skin and everything like I just I cannot suggest this enough and you see I have like the super super size bottle so <laughs> that's how you know it's real but um yeah definitely pick this up if you get a chance during like a Sephora sale or a Derm store generally has sales too I don't know if you've heard of them but I think I got this one from Derm store and I got 25% off so um these are expensive but I think it's totally worth it So I actually have two liquid foundations that I want to share with you all and the first one I'm wearing today and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I have it in the shade Y455 and I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this foundation on my channel but I started using it around the end of 2016 like December 2016 is when I really started using it and I've used it throughout this year. I have two shades of it that's why I haven't run out yet but it's not a new foundation but it's new to me and I don't know I, I just really like the way it looks on my skin in person I've never worn it on camera but in person I feel like it just looks really um, perfected but still very natural which is the type of look I look like and it doesn't dry me out or make me too oily um, I've used this like in really cold weather and in hot weather and it's perfect so really like this I actually keep it in my upstairs uh, or in my bathroom so when I do my makeup in my bathroom um, I'm typically wearing this which is like a lot <laughs> so 
The other foundation I want to share is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude and I have it in the shade 5W1 Browns. Now I did a video on this and I have to say I still feel the same way I felt when I did that video. I absolutely love this. It's natural looking, it's lightweight, it's long lasting and I think it, the finish is just outstanding on this foundation. So I definitely will recommend this if you're into lightweight, um, medium coverage foundations i would say this is a medium coverage it says that it's light but i think it's like light to medium so definitely like this too and definitely think it's worth a shot if you like that type of foundation the other foundation i have is actually a foundation powder and this is an oldie but a goodie mac studio fix yes <laughs> i rediscovered mac studio fix this year and it's like a throwback for me because this was probably the first uh, well, i don't know if it was the first powder foundation that or makeup product that i bought but it's one of the first like when i first started wearing makeup um so yeah i'm back on this so typically i will wear a powder foundation if i'm doing my makeup in the car <laughs> which i did a lot uh, the first part of this year but I also do it sometimes if I just need to do something really quick and still want to look like pull together. So I actually really like this. Um, I don't think it makes me look dry or cakey. Now, of course, when I do a powder foundation, I always have to spray and stuff just so you don't get that cakey look. But overall, I think that I get a really nice finish from this and it doesn't look too powdery or anything like that. So I definitely recommend this. And it's not too expensive. You know, it's MAC. So... If I didn't mention it, I'm in the shade NC45. So there were two concealers that really stood out to me this year. And the first one has to be the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I have it in the shade Caramel. I actually have it in um, Biscuit, I believe, too. I think that's the other one I have. But by far, I use Caramel the most. And I really like this foundation because, or not foundation, concealer, <laughs> because it gives me good coverage underneath the eyes. However, it does not look cakey and it looks, it actually looks really natural. And I know it says soft matte, but please don't let that scare you off. I don't have like the most moisturized over eye, under eyes. <laughs> so I can't wear every concealer out there. But with this one, I feel like it does not like age me at all underneath the eyes. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing my other favorite, but um, I just think this was a great um, concealer for them to come out with and I've gotten so much use out of it. I don't know if you all can tell, but like I've dug into it. The other concealer I have is something that actually really surprised me. And this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So yeah, I never thought that a $6 concealer <laughs> would be one of my favorites, but it was. Um, I have it in the shade Tan 50, and this is the one I'm using today. And I just really like the finish that again, it gives. And again, it does not dry me out. It does not make me look cakey or fake or too made up. And uh, yeah, I just think for $6, this is unbeatable in my opinion i haven't found another concealer for this cheap that works for me so definitely try this out if you make an order from ColourPop. so this year i ran out of my translucent powder that i have been using to set my under eyes for like the past couple years so i decided to branch out and try a different one this is the beauty bakery flower and it's the translucent one they also have a yellow one a pink one and i think they have like a, a brown one as well like a skin tone one so but i only have the translucent one and i like to use this to set underneath my eyes it does not give flashback on me um and it helps to set my eyes without making them look too cakey or anything like that or old <laughs> so yeah definitely think this was a good buy it's not that expensive either i think it was like 24 dollars and my previous setting powder i believe was like 40 dollars. so um yeah really like this and i'll be using this until i use it up so for eyeshadow this year i was pretty boring as usual <laughs> and my two eyeshadow palettes that i'm going to show you um, they, they fit right into that, uh, whole boring aesthetic, but hey, I like what I like and yeah.
So first one is this Dose of Colors palette and this is the Baked Browns palette. And it just comes with five brown eyeshadows, like warm brown eyeshadows. And this one was probably, I think this one was my top favorite of the year because I just felt like this is so easy. You don't have to think about it when you only have five shades. It's easy. The, the colors are very pigmented and I just always like the way my eyes turn out with this. They're all matte shades and I, I actually get compliments when I wear this. So even though they're all matte shades and boring browns, I don't know. It's just something about them that I just love the way my eyeshadow looks when I wear this. So this was probably my number one favorite. For eyeshadow anyway. My other eyeshadow favorite is the Sephora uh, Pro Warm Palette. And this is another palette with a bunch of warm browns in it. However, this has like every color brown you could, <laughs> you could imagine in here. I mean, this has how many shades? Uh, 28, 28 shadows in it. Um, so I'm wearing this today and again these shades are mostly matte because that's what I like to wear but when I got this I remember I was wearing this daily when I first got it like I had to make myself wear other things I actually put this away like in my makeup drawers just to force myself to use other uh, palettes so <laughs> that tells you how much I love it I'm actually wearing this one today and um, yeah, it's just, it, it, you can get any type of basic eyeshadow. Well, for me, I can get any type of basic eyeshadow that I want. Um, I'm definitely a warm shadow lover. I don't do many cool tone shadow looks. So this is like perfect if you like the type of shadows that I like. So this was probably the first product I thought about when I thought about my 2017 favorites and it is the NARS liquid blushes and I have three of them. I think they comes in four shades and there will be another one coming out I want to say like next week or the week after that I will be getting. Um, but yeah, when I when these came out I initially purchased uh, what's this Torrid which is like a pinky peach and luster. Since then, I went back and purchased Orgasm, which is the one I'm wearing today. And I love these because they're very, very pigmented, um, but they blend out so well. It just gives you that lit from within look. Like, I don't know if it shows up well on camera. This is kind of one of the more natural um, type of products that you don't always see well on camera, but in person, they look awesome. Um, but hopefully you can see that it just gives me kind of that lit from within look and I just I just can't explain it this is definitely the best liquid or cream blush that I've ever used I mean these are liquids but even when I compare them to, to some cream blushes these are like steps and steps and steps above anything else I've ever tried so I'm really excited to see if they come out with some other colors um, because I am going to be like all over them uh, yeah, love these. I think my favorite is Torrid, which is this one. Uh, but I like all three. The other blush I want to show y'all is one that I'm sure you have seen <clears throat> from me if you have been watching my channel for a while. It's by NARS. Did you guess it yet? Gina! Yes. This is NARS Gina. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, um, then you probably know that I this was probably like the first blush I ever featured on my channel maybe. I'm not sure, but it was my favorite when I started out. And I actually used it up, like I broke it. <laughs> and then, but I still was able to use it. And then I kept using it, used it up. And I didn't rebuy it because I was just trying to try out so many other blushes and get off of this one or take a break from this one so then this year i finally repurchased it and this one is kind of hard to find like they don't sell it at sephora but they do have it on ours website now uh it goes in and out of stock but they do still carry it so if you're interested check out narscosmetics.com i'll link it down below but anyway this blush is just perfect for me for a day-to-day -day use. Uh, I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing the other one. <laughs> but I've worn it in a lot of videos and it probably doesn't even really come off great on camera. 
but in person it just looks so good on my skin it's just one of those blushes that i can wear with anything so if i don't know what i'm wearing this blush is like the one that i turn to so yeah um i just can't say enough good things about this blush and you gotta get it if you are my skin tone you have to get it i know what it looks like but it's like <clears throat> this is not like the darkest blush i have but it does not look ashy on me at all and nars does a really good job with a lot of their lighter blushes <clears throat> just still being able to show up well on darker skin tones so even though it may look light you can build it up and it doesn't look ashy and this is one of those for me like i don't have to be careful with this one this is one i don't have to think about and i'm gonna stop going on and on about this blush but just go ahead and get it like don't think about it just go get it so this year was like the year of bronzer for me like i feel like i tried out a lot of bronzers and i fell in love with some and yeah, and I, I don't know. I feel like I really added to my bronzer collection this year. I actually did a blog post of all the bronzers in my current rotation that I will link for you guys. So if you want to check that out, you can. It just gives you swatches of um, like a lot of the bronzers that I have so you can see color comparisons. But anyway, um, the two that I'm going to mention were the two standouts that I couldn't decide between. So I figured I should share both. First is NARS Casino. And I haven't had this that long. Um, but it definitely stood out to me and it's one that has been around forever uh, But I just tried it out this year. I'm wearing it today and I like it because you can contour with it and bronze with it because of the color I just feel like it's very versatile I also think that a lot of different skin tones will be able to wear this because it's pigmented uh, so if you're my skin tone or darker, I think you'll be able to wear this probably about three two to probably about three shades darker than me you probably still be able to wear this and it show up well on you um if you are lighter than me you can still wear this because you can just you know apply it with a light hand so yeah i definitely am so glad that i decided to finally try this out and i'm sure it's going to last forever because they give you a lot of product in their bronzer so this was a standout for me the other one is, I believe it came out in 2017, but this is a blush by Becca, and this is Empanema Sun. And this one is more of a um, radiant bronzer. The Casino, this one here is radiant, but this one is a lot more radiant, and this one is like a warmer color. So I don't really feel like I can contour with this, but I honestly don't contour very much anyway. But um, I just like the healthy look that this gives to my skin. It just looks so, so natural. Um, and I feel like you you have to try like one of these. It comes in about five or six different shades. Um, but this is the one that only one that I have and I, I love it for my skin tone. The other bronze I'm going to mention just very briefly is the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. And I felt like I had to mention this because I mentioned in my last favorites video, but I really have been using this like every single day um, since I started back using it. Even though it's just something that I started back using at the end of the year, it definitely was like a standout for me. And um, if you have $50 and you want to go um, drop that on a bronzer, definitely check this one out. Like <laughs> it gives a gorgeous finish. Um, yeah, so I, it truly was a favorite for the year. So this year for highlighter, I really didn't have much. Honestly, I haven't been, I mean, I wear highlighter every day, but it was really hard for me to try to pick a favorite because so so many of them are so much alike, number one. Also, I don't know, it's just like, they don't really impress me anymore like they used to. Uh-oh, I just told y'all what I was gonna show you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I don't even have a powder highlighter to sh share with you. I mean, I obviously use them, but I just, nothing stood out to me. So, sorry. But I do have a liquid highlighter. And this is by Becca. And this is Prosecco Pop. And this is what I'm actually wearing today. So, this is the shine that you're seeing here on my cheekbones. And I did not use any highlighter on top of it. And I like that this is a liquid illuminator, but it still can kind still gives you that pop even by itself also i use this underneath foundation sometimes not today but sometimes i use it underneath my foundation it works well for that as well 
and I have used this on my body and like mix in with a lotion just to give me that glow like on my shoulders or whatever works well for that too so I believe that um well, I think that this is like a really versatile product and that's what makes it worth it to me. It is expensive, but because I can use it so many different ways, I'm so happy that I picked it up and I really like the color of this one. Um, a little bit of this goes a really long way. Like you don't even really need a full pump if you're just gonna use it to highlight like the um, uh, high points on your skin. So this Prosecco Pop from Becca has been a standard highlighter for me. So now we are at the last category, which is lips, and I have quite a few lips, so let me try to speed through them. Uh, first one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and this is the vanilla. I've never showed you the vanilla one on my channel. I think previously I showed you the berry one. Um, well, when I ran out of that one, I ordered this one, and I just like it because any scent, any of the scents are fine. Um, they all smell good, but they just are really moisturizing without feeling like too thick and heavy they they sink into your lips but then they still sit on top <laughs> that makes no sense <laughs> let's see how i can explain this so like i put this on at night it's still there in the morning but it doesn't feel like a thick cake of like vaseline sitting on your lips if that makes sense hopefully it makes sense but these are bomb.com where did that come from but <laughs> I ordered mine from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. They also, um, I noticed that they also sell the berry one at Sephora now. So if that's more easy for you to get, then check it out at Sephora. But I usually pick mine up from Amazon. The next lip product I have is the Sephora uh, Outrageous Effect or Outrageous Plump of Flat. <sighs> Can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> the Sephora Outrageous Plump Effect Gloss and I have it in two different shades. This one is the shade 02 but I also have 01 and love it just the same. Uh, but I, these just give you the prettiest shine to the lips. They are plumping um, but for me that just means kind of like um, evening out some of the lines in my lips. They just make the lips look really good and juicy. They're very similar to the Dior. Um, I forgot the name of the Dior gloss, but I'll put it here in the video. But they're very similar to that, which I do have and love as well. Uh, but these are only $12 and the Dior ones are like $30. So these have been like standout A1 for me this year. And I don't know, it might be taking Dior's place. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so look who I just found. Miss Chloe. Miss Chloe, she woke up from her nap, so we are gonna try to hurry up and finish this video before her brother wakes up. <laughs> Cause when he wakes up, I won't be able to film anything. So <laughs> let's go in and finish, Miss Chloe. You gonna help? Are you gonna help? Hmm? <laughs> so the next two items I'm gonna share with you are glosses, and this first one is by Bare Minerals. This is the color Fly, and this has basically lived in my bag like all year long. Um, I, it's just an easy gloss that goes with pretty much everything. Don't have to think about it, so it kind of lives in my purse. And I wear it a lot. Never really wear it on video, but it's really great for an everyday gloss. It's not sticky, it's very comfortable, and goes with everything. The other gloss kind of for the same purpose is this Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. And this is the shade Unreal. And it's a little bit darker than uh, the Bare Mineral ones if you can see that. Um, so this one does give a little bit more color. So I typically just wear this one alone, but sometimes I do pop it on on top of other lipsticks. Uh, but it's just a great everyday gloss. Um, and I'm sorry if this is boring to you guys, but <laughs> I really wanted to share it with you the things that I'm wearing like a lot. So um, plus this one is available in the drugstore and I don't really use many drugstore products so I'm happy to be able to share a gloss with you that I can really like stand behind that's not too expensive. And then the last lip product has to have been like the standout lip product of the year for me. Um, this is my favorite out of probably all the ones I've showed you. 
and it's in this bag because I have a lot of them. <laughs> they are the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments and I did a blog post on these that I'll, um, I'll link for you guys but I have probably about nine or ten shades. I have a bunch of them see, all in this bag. I, they're, they're so special that I keep them in their own bag. Like they literally live in here. So when I want to put one on, I know just to grab this. Like this is all that's in this bag. Like literally. And I leave it out on my vanity. That's that's love right there. So <laughs> I love all the shades. Um, what I'm wearing today is Walk This Way. Um, but I have like some swatches on my blog. Some of them I don't have swatched on my blog. But I love all of them. It's just the formula. It's very comfortable. It is matte. It's not 100% transfer proof, but it is probably about 90% transfer proof. Uh, but they they do look matte, and but they don't feel like super drying or anything like that. And you don't need a lot of, of um, product. They're very pigmented. So if you want to layer them, they work well layered. So like a lot of times I'll um, layer, let's see which two. So two that I like to layer are London Calling and Save the Queen and they just give like this really pretty effect. Um, so yeah, I will swatch all of these in a close up for you. Um, but if you want to see lip swatches, make sure to check out my blog post. But I really think that this was like the standout lip product of the year for me. Definitely recommend trying at least one and you'll probably be hooked. So sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend those. So, um, yeah, that's it for this 2017 favorites. I was actually thinking about doing a lifestyle favorites because I share with you all um, lifestyle favorites generally in my monthly favorites. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. It probably won't be a long video. I'm saying that now, but <laughs> I don't know how much stuff I have to share with you guys, but there are some things that I know I could share with you that I really loved in 2017. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, let me know and I'll try to get it filmed for you probably next week. Um, or if you're over favorites, you can let me or over the yearly favorites, you can let me know that too and I won't worry about it. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.